Hey everybody, how's it going? It's The Daily Shooter, and today we're going to talk about John Cox for governor for the state of California. We'll do a little bit of comparison between him and Gavin Newsom, and we'll also talk about some issues, plus one of my primary issues, which is obviously the Second Amendment. So let's get started. Now, whether you're a subscriber or just a longtime viewer, you know that one of my biggest concerns for the state of California is the Second Amendment. And that's because the Second Amendment has been under systemic attack for so long in this state that it is now no longer a right. It has become a privilege in the state of California, and we want to restore our rights. Now, I can say that with confidence because a right doesn't require a certificate in order to be obtained. In the state of California, when you used to be able to buy a gun at the year 18 of age, you would have to get a firearm safety certificate before you could even complete your 4473 or DROSA firearm at your local FFL. So if you wanted to go buy a gun, you would have to then first pass a test get that safety certificate, and then you could go ahead and practice what is supposedly a right. So I can say with confidence that it's a privilege at that point. Now, this has mostly been created by the Democrats in the state of California. The Democrats have wholeheartedly gone after the Second Amendment. They openly don't like it. They don't like firearms, and they don't want us to have firearms. But this has also not been helped by Republicans in the state of California, who are also very liberal. For instance, Arnold Schwarzenegger, who was a Republican, a very liberal Republican, is the one who is responsible for micro-stamping, the micro-stamping law, which has caused so many of our handguns to fall off the safe handgun roster in the state of California. So both Democrats and Republicans have had their hands on the Second Amendment in this state. And that's why it's so important to look at the two candidates that we have running in the state of California and really evaluate the two. While there is a lot more transparency on one side when it comes to the Second Amendment, there is a complete lack of transparency on the other side. And that's what we're going to talk about next. Now, on one hand, we have Gavin Newsom. Gavin Newsom is kind of an open book on firearms. He's already let us know how he feels about guns, passing some of the most stringent gun laws you have ever seen. He is responsible for gun apocalypse, gun again, whatever you want to call it. All of those rules that passed recently that restricted our firearms access, restricted our ammunition access, restricted our Second Amendment rights, restricted our ability to own certain guns, all of that was due to uh, uh, Gavin Newsom. So we have Gavin Newsom to thank for some of the strongest gun control that's ever been seen in any state in the entire country. So this is basically, I think, what has pushed us over the tipping point from a right to a privilege. I think that Gavin Newsom is most, mostly responsible for that. So we know Gavin Newsom. We know his agenda. It's an openly anti-gun agenda. He speaks about it freely. He goes on TV and speaks about how he would like to even push gun control further. That's his biggest goal. He's actually running on gun control as a platform. Okay, so he openly, oh, openly shows disdain for the Second Amendment. And uh, it's just one of those things where you can just kind of read him. It's an open book. Okay, The guy does not like the Second Amendment. And most of his policies are just pushed back against the Trump administration. Now, on the other hand, we have John Cox. John Cox is a Republican businessman running for the governor's office in the state of California. And the problem that I have with John Cox is he is not an open book on the Second Amendment. I have seen some quotes here and there. I have seen very small snippets, but if you go to his website or you watch his TV interviews, you'll see him dodge questions on the Second Amendment. You'll see him kind of avoid answering questions, and it's not even part of his platform. Let me tell you what the San Francisco Chronicle said and then get your response. They said time and again, Cox found himself on the defensive when Newsom challenged the GOP candidate about past statements. Cox exhibited a particular bit of frustration when Newsom brought up the Republican positions on concealed weapons and other gun control issues. Um, their headline was, Gavin Newsom's the clear winner. Well, there's others that say that I was the clear winner because I talked about the affordability. Listen, Shannon, the, the real important thing here is what do the voters care about? And we've got voters all across California who can't afford rent, who can't afford to uh, pay for gasoline, they can't afford food. Electricity rates are twice what Texas uh, pays. Our schools are an absolute disgrace. They're failing. Our roads are congested. Meanwhile, we've got uh, Gavin Newsom in favor of a train that is way over budget, way behind schedule. Where you have a state where the Second Amendment has become a privilege, I believe that that should be a, 
a platform, okay, for, for one of these candidates to run on. So John Cox is basically avoiding the Second Amendment altogether. And if you read on his website, you'll see all of the issues that he's running on. And the Second Amendment firearms rights in general isn't even listed there. Now, even though I'm sort of a single issue voter, and I say that because obviously the Second Amendment is the most important issue to me as I, I look at who I'm going to vote for, obviously there are other issues as well, especially in the state of California, which has been on a decline for just decades now. I've lived here my entire life. I was born and raised in the state of California, and I've lived here for 42 years. I can tell you right now that this is a beautiful state. It's a beautiful state with a lot to offer, and so I would like to see it changed rather than just continue to go downhill. And while a a lot of people like me have decided to leave the state and head to greener grass. I can tell you that I would rather see this state be turned around. And while I see that that's a, statistically, it's very difficult. I can tell you right now that as a Californian in my position, I am not represented in my state government. I am not represented. The Democrats hold a super majority. They hold the, the governorship and they hold a super majority pretty much everywhere else. So they can do just about whatever they want without any opposition. So I'm really not represented at all. And people like myself, conservatives, are not represented either. Now, even though I'm registered Republican, I don't consider myself a Republican. I consider myself an independent conservative. And I do that because I look at conservative issues and I go from there. And as I take a look at John Cox's platform, other than the Second Amendment, because it doesn't exist on his website, I take a look at his platform when it comes to housing and when it comes to the environment and when it comes to water, because water is a big issue. And when it comes to a lot of the other things, I have to say that I completely side with John Cox uh, again, over Gavin Newsom when it comes to his policies. Because when it comes to policy, it's very easy to see where Gavin Newsom's come from. He was the mayor of San Francisco. He moved up to the lieutenant governor of California. And under his leadership and the leadership of Governor Jerry Brown, we have extreme poverty. We have homelessness. We have high gas prices. We have high taxes. We have just a middle class that has been abandoning this state. I mean, it's absolutely horrible the things that have been going on. The filth, the crime is just out of control. And this has happened already under Gavin Newsom's leadership, both at a mayoral level and now as a lieutenant governor. So I can look at that and I can say his record is piss poor. It's bad. Everything that has happened in the state is bad. Our schools are horrible. I have two kids that are in school right now. I have another one that's going to be in school. And being ranked so low across the entire country doesn't give me much hope for their educational future. So that is something that I have to look at as well. And uh, even though I don't have a really a big record to go off when it comes to John Cox, I do have a professional record to go off and I can see that, you know, he has been successful in life. He says that he owns three houses in California. They're big houses and he's not ashamed of that. And I don't think he should be ashamed of that. We should all strive to get better, to be better, to make more, to achieve more. And if he's done that, I'm not going to look down at him for doing that. I'm going to look at that as a positive and say, look, here's a guy who's achieved success in his life in the private sector and hopefully he can maybe bring some of that success to the state of california so on the non-second amendment issues i have to say that john cox is a clear winner now it's really hard for me to say that john cox is a clear winner on the second amendment because he doesn't have anything for me to go off all i have is the r in front of his name uh, to assume that you know what maybe the second amendment is sort of an issue but he's too much of a coward to put it out there now, I know there's a lot of people out there who are going to get really pissed off at me. They're probably going to, you know, thumbs down this video. They're going to unsubscribe from my channel for calling John Cox a coward on that topic. But, hey, look, I call it like it is. If you cannot address a major topic, a major issue of the day, because you're afraid of some type of political blowback from uh, the people that could potentially vote for you, then, you know what, it's very cowardly of you to do so. I think that you need to address the topics of the day, whatever they are, head on, and let us know what your policies are. If you're anti-gun, moderate gun, or completely pro-gun, we should be able to look at your record and judge it. We should be able to look at your statements, your comments, and openly judge for ourselves whether or not that's something we want to vote on. And that should be very much up front in the front of your website, one of the major issues of the day, gun rights in the state of California. Now, with all that being said, it, I still think it's a clear-cut choice between Gavin Newsom and John Cox. 
Gavin Newsom, if you ask me, is the equivalent of political evil. Okay, he is exactly what is wrong with this state. He is exactly what has been wrong with this state. And if elected to the governor's office, will continue to be what's wrong with this state. We need representation. I like a lot of the stuff that John Cox has to say. I like a lot of the stuff that John Cox has to offer. And if you ask me, Gavin Newsom is simply running on a I hate Trump, I don't like Trump, cry baby. Uh, uh, agenda. That's basically his thing is I can push back harder against Trump than anybody else. So elect me to office. No, I want you to run for me and my problems, my issues. I want you to represent me as your constituent. I don't want you to worry about Donald Trump. I want you to worry about me. And don't say that, you, that by worrying about Donald Trump, you're worrying about me because I voted for Donald Trump. Uh, I don't need, I'm not like a super hardcore Trump supporter because I'll tell you what, Trump's been pissing me off when it comes to the second amendment lately, talking about bump stock bans and talking about how maybe we should worry about due process second when it comes to guns. But what about the due process for Brett Kavanaugh? You can't have it both ways, buddy. So I haven't been super happy with Trump either. We have to address gun control. We have to address these anti second amendment issues. And we have to say, as a matter of fact, that the second amendment is a right that shall not be infringed by anybody with an R in front of your name or a D in front of your name or an independent or green party or anybody, the second amendment shall not be infringed. So don't give me this. I'm running against a Trump thing. Uh, John Cox has a lot to offer on his agenda. He has a lot that I think would be a great change in this state. And I also think that he would bring representation to a people that do not have it across the state of California right now. People that are underrepresented would then be represented by him. And I think that even if it's not a perfect choice, it is a great turning point and a message that we could send to those people who think that they have complete control over our future without our say. I think it would send a message to them, letting them know, look, we exist. We are here. We are going to fight back and we will put John Cox in office to begin that process. So I urge you guys to vote for John Cox, put him in office and don't say you're not going to vote because a non vote for John Cox is essentially a vote for Gavin Newsom. We all know that the Democrats show up pretty heavy in these, in these elections. So we need to get out there as independents, as conservatives, as Republicans, whatever you want to call yourself, basically as the other party to get out there and push back against it by voting for him, get out there November 6th and do your part. If you don't vote, you don't have a say. If you don't vote, you cannot bitch. If you don't vote, you are not part of the process. So make sure you get up off the couch for one day, even if just for one day, get out there and vote for John Cox. Otherwise, you're going to see what's happening, what's going to happen under a, an administration run by Gavin Newsom, and it's not going to be pretty. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day.